Mhm. So, here we are in the Norwegian backcountry and uh, we ended up in a completely different place that we were supposed to and uh, it was all my fault. So, uh, <laughs> to see how we got here, you have to see it from the start. Okay, so all packed, ready to go. It's gonna, it's gonna, be, gonna be a good trip. Uh, it's kind of organized, but it's not uh, as organized as I wanted. But uh, it will do for now, and then I can figure out things uh, as we go along. Hey guys and welcome to another Overland series. So this is going to be a one-nighter. Uh, it's going to be me, uh, Eric and Ørjan. So uh, we ride again. So uh, Eric and Ørjan is down in Hummervik. It's only like uh, two kilometers from here. So I'm going to drive down there, meet up with them. Uh, then we're going to do some uh, grocery shopping and start on our trip. So we are driving from uh, from Hummerik we are going to uh, Tydar. So we are going to drive the same uh, road that I drove when I uh, was on my 24 hour uh, uh, trip alone. So uh, yeah, I will link that up above here so you can see the difference between summer and, and winter. So the reason for going to Tydar is that I know that there should be, <laughs> I know that it should be snow there. So that's the whole purpose of this trip is to find snow. So yeah, so uh, see you down in Homerwijk and uh, catching up with Adrian and Eric. Hello. Hello. It's the Corona monster. Yes. Now we're good. Huh? Yeah, yeah we need to watch. keep. Yeah. Is it ready? <laughs> So, Adrian is watching his car. <laughs> Ready for a trip? Ready for a trip. Yeah. Good. <laughs> you good? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. It's good you uh, remember the mask. I also have my mask with me. So, uh, yeah. Obviously, you need the mask. Yeah. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, in Trondheim. In Trondheim. Yeah. So, in Trondheim, it's, uh, you have to have the mask in Marvik, and uh, you don't. I don't think. No, I don't uh, think so. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. And everyone in Trondheim has masks and. Nobody has hair. Yeah. I've been wearing this for, I don't know, four hours maybe. <laughs> no, but good. So, uh, yeah. I think that's what Yeah, Adrian is about to go into the, the washing machine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep, yep. So I'm going to fill up and then uh, we can meet up at uh, Rema. Hello Eric. Ready? Oops. 
Jet boil. Mm -hmm. You have cooking gear, don't you? Yeah. I uh, have brought the... Because I have no pans, no nothing. Okay. I have the pantry, but that's it. Okay. To eat on? I have to eat on, but not to cook. Okay, yeah. To drink off? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have plenty of room. Max trucks are there, so that's they, good. They are fitting this way, yeah. in the Range Rover. Yeah, they fit uh, if I put it on top on mine, but... Uh, I have to uh, have, have, have to uh, just lay them down. So, uh, it's hot and a bit good. Shopper shopper. Shopper shop? Yeah. yeah. Ah, no, 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 so we have done with groceries and uh, we have packed uh, down uh, so I put <coughs> everything that should be cool into the, the fridge but I'm not turning it on because the fridge is go just gonna keep it warm because it's going to be uh, so cold uh, so it's around Minus one now, I think, or yeah. two, and uh, and the temperature is going to go down to around minus eight tonight, uh, and uh, expecting a bit of snow. So yeah, <laughs> Eric is getting ready to be cold. <laughs> it's better to be ready before you're cold yeah. than after. It's too late. And uh, Arian got some food, lunch. Mm -hmm. So, uh, mm -hmm. so we are ready to start. So uh, let's see you, see you up in Chidar. We are now leaving uh, Sarbu and starting on Tudarn, uh, and we can you can see that the rivers are starting to freeze up and it's getting colder. Uh, currently, it's around minus one. Uh, so, and I'm guessing when we come up to the mountain, we are going to see around minus minus four, I think, uh, degrees Celsius. So, uh, it's definitely getting colder, and we are seeing more snow, uh, both around where we are driving, also on the mountains uh, around there, so uh, looking good. So we are a bit up into uh, Tudor now and uh, as you can see the, the roads are solid ice and it's around minus one. Uh, and this is why you drive on winter uh, winter tires in Norway. Uh, if you were driving here with mud terrains, you will spin off like like nothing. So uh, be sure to get some proper 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 tires before you go uh, overlanding in Norway during winter. Especially when it gets tracky, like it tracks in the ice, it's super easy to spin off. Um, so that's uh, yeah. Just be careful. It's uh, just about, I think it's around 20 minutes and we are going to turn off this uh, <laughs> this road and off to a smaller uh, smaller road uh, up to where we are supposed to camp. So uh, getting too close to where the real trip starts. <laughs> Oh,
Yes, ready for our adventure. In the snow. <laughs> it's not too cold. No. It's quite good. Yeah. No wind. And hopefully we can uh, catch that uh, light. We're coming up on a toll road and as Erdogan points out, there's a sign saying that the road isn't cleared during the winter. But as far as we can see, the road is cleared and we still have to pay toll to get through. So we are assuming that the road is cleared all the way. We are driving up the mountain and everything is going as planned. We are not far from where I planned camp, but turning around this corner, things are about to change. Oh, so uh, I forgot to uh, to uh, check if it was uh, actually open. Actually open. It's closed. It's uh, actually winter closed. Uh, so uh, we need to check the map and see if we can find uh, a new road. So we're a bit late in the season. So if you have been, I think a month before. Uh, we, it would have been fine, but uh, the snow is already here and it's packed, so we are... Uh, yeah. Sorry. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> we have one more hour before it starts, so yeah. I wouldn't expect this to be there <laughs> this early. So it's only... Uh, Oh, that's it. It's only about two kilometers left until the camping that I had picked out, but um, yeah, what can you do? So we had the road further down and we can go to the Eros and up on the other side. Yeah. yeah, so we're going to continue on the road that we were on, the main road, uh, and see if we can find something next to that road. <coughs> yeah. Long time to the Eros? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Vi har tallet, det er det. Ja. Kan du ha kalt ut det? Ja, det er jo kaldt. Så, vi har bare kommet til en død enn. Jeg har glemt å sjekke at det var vinteren åpent. Det er råd. Og, sannsynlig, det var ikke. Det var bare to kilometer til der jeg hadde planet å kjempe. Uh, so the road was open a bit and then uh, it's just suddenly stopped it wasn't uh, the road wasn't cleared so there's a lot of snow and it's hard packed because they've been driving with snowmobiles and uh, I guess skiing as well but uh, yeah so we are just gonna turn around and try and find another road so again I guess we are going to find camp in the dark 
Uh, it's a bit bummer because I was ready to just set up camp and have a good good time with the guys, uh, catching up, and um, yeah, we're going to have a good time either way. But uh, this is gonna it's going to get dark and it's going to get hard to to, to find a place to camp. So uh, yeah, and since we are sleeping um, in our cars. Which we had planned. I have the tent with me, but since we are planning to sleep in cars, we need to find a place where we we can drive out all three cars and still have room for a, a campfire. But it's gonna be difficult. But um, yeah, we will see. That's 80 kroners well spent. <laughs> mountains uh, after Tidar and um, it just is no trees there's uh, yeah and there's a bit of wind it's minus six degrees Celsius so uh, we're not gonna camp on top of here because we're gonna freeze like hell because of uh, because of the wind um, so we're gonna drive over this part or beyond this part down into the valley on the other side uh, and hopefully it's going to be more trees and less wind uh, and a place to camp um, yeah but it's um, it's really beautiful up here so uh, just enjoying the views as we drive and uh, making the be best out of the situation Since driving on non-cleared roads is illegal, it's really hard to find camp during winter. So all the regular small roads we can escape on is now full up with snow and we cannot drive there. So we are parking up in uh, making an uh, area where we can uh, be, live. It's making the fire <laughs> Before he freezes his ass off Yes It's warmer It's still it's a lot of people who are in the middle of the night. 
Ja, det är fiffen som bygger båda upp i luften. Det är fiffen. Okay. Happy now, Erik? Yes, yes, yes. Finally, a winter trip again. You remember the lava trip in the off-road area? Yeah, sure. Yeah. It's, it was colder then, so it's... Uh, it was really cold. And now you have the... Proper equipment. Proper equipment, yeah. <laughs> and Adrian, yeah. he's gonna sit on the snow wall <laughs> all the time. <laughs> he has uh, forgotten his chair, so uh, yeah. No problem. I, I, I even, my dog. Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. I have like a small, like three footage. Ah, you can use my table chair. Uh, it's no problem. Yeah, but it's. Uh, we have six max tracks. You can sit on max tracks. Yeah, I sit on the max tracks. Yeah, but I have the. You know the table I use? I, yeah, it's just a stool with a table on it, so you can use that. <laughs> so we can. Uh, yeah. For me, this is the highlight of overlanding, getting to camp, getting the fire going and just hang around with your mates, having a good time. But I'm looking forward to dinner now. Uh, should add uh, put on the potatoes? Mm, yeah, I think so. Then we can uh, have a hot dog as uh, some uh, starters. Starters, waiting food. Ventepelse. <laughs> Ventepelse. <laughs> waiting hot dog. Uh, <clears throat> oh, good. Yeah, so it's about. I think <laughs> it's, uh, it's gonna take at least one hour or one hour fifteen with <laughs> those uh, potatoes. Um, so yeah, oh. throw it on the coal. And then we have some pork chops or pork, um, a pork steak, um, which we're gonna have for our it's main. Ma I think it's marinated with something. Yeah, it's marinated. Garlic. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's ready just to put on the. What do we call it? Really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't remember. I checked the I checked the, the website. It's the front run front front runner one. Yes. Yeah. Great. Actually a uh, Christmas present from you? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. No. Let's get some uh, waiting hot dogs. Det er sånn four wheel reaction her, altså. Det har vært et mer engasjert... Kokki? Nei, sånn her snakka. Oh, this is the best stew I ever made! Stu og stu. Så Erik startet on the... on dinner. Så hva er vi making, Erik? Yeah, just some mushroom. Hey. Yo. Paprika, onion. 
So how are you going to make the vegetables, uh, Eric? Just on the pan. Yep. We do some uh, butter. That's it. Yeah. But it's a bit too hot, so we're gonna let it cool a bit down. Yeah. So we'll see. What? <laughs> so uh, you were eating some uh, hot dogs as we wait for the the baked potatoes, which is in the fire. Oh. Ooh. And. Uh, before we have eaten one, uh, Erjan has eaten three. <laughs> he's, he's a big boy, he, he needs to eat. <laughs> so, uh, oh, potatoes have been one hour now. Yeah. Getting there. Luckily, we have bought one bag of chips for me and Eric, and uh, a separate bag for Erjan. <laughs> <laughs> Det är så sult nu. Du har han inte. Du så tre bälser ja. Ja men det är en liten kraft. Kan vi fortsätta med det? Nej nu är det fan på tiden men jag. Ja det finns det. Nej det är säkert varmare än mig. Var inte rör oss eller? Ja. Så ser jävligt bra. Ja. Is it enough heat, uh, Eric? Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is cooking. <laughs> so we uh, we thought it was getting pretty cold, so we threw on some more uh, some more wood, uh, and it's definitely enough. Definitely enough now. A bit too hot for the face. Yeah. <laughs> We are adjusting uh, adjusting the uh, the grit or, or the yeah cooking pan I cooking know I don't know what it's called uh, off and off the the fire uh, to adjust the heat. Sorry, to smell really good. Uh, yeah, it's the onions I bet. Mm. Uh, uh, Eric is sitting in the moonlight. Moonlight. <laughs> Cooking. Overlanding in Norway. Winter edition. Yeah. You can catch the moonlight, yeah. Again? Is it ready? I think so. Yeah. It smells really good. Det er best i verden, det er sånn stekt sopp. Stekt løs, det er det. Ja, det er også. Stekt sopp på det. Ja, det er bra. Ok. Ja, nå er det ferdig i hvert fall. Potetene er svart. Ja. Takk. 
Ja, utsida, ja. Ja, ja han är er ju perfekt inne. Ja, han är er bra. Så så skrapp ut det inne. Så. Det är ju Bit burn on the outside, but uh, good on the inside. Okay, first bite. Mm. Five star. Approved. Approved. Five star. Approved. Winter camping approved. Okay, I'm approved. So here we have it, baked potato with butter, uh, pork chop, and vegetables. Oh, All fried on the front runner by Eric. <laughs> Personal chef. <laughs> It reminds me of my six-year-old sitting on the ground eating. <laughs> it's, it's a good job, Eric. It's really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Happy with your own cooking? Yeah. yeah it's really good. Here we go. Mmm, delicious. This is it, right? And if you would. <laughs> so we are <laughs> so we are done with uh, dinner and uh, just uh, hanging out by the fire uh, the most perfect fire yeah so we had trouble with some wet wood <laughs> uh, <laughs> not anymore oh yeah um, but uh, we got the fire properly. We got a proper fire now, so uh, yeah, it's really just enjoying our time. What time is it? Ten. It's a ten. It's yeah. Ten. It's ten. So I guess we will stay up up for a, another hour or so, and then uh, go to bed. Det är nära det Au! Jag tror att det blinkar. Ja, det blinkar. Jag tror att vi bara kollar det